He just, the UC was just black. You come in Monday, you can pass the $2,000 bump, but uh, there's no indication that Mitch McConnell will take it up in the Senate, uh, let alone that it could pass if he did. Uh, how, do you, how do you prevent a shutdown at this point? What is going to happen then? We can only do in the House what we can do. Uh, we will have a new president in less than 30 days, of course. Um, and th that president will give leadership. Uh, this president, again, told Republican leaders that he was going to sign this bill. And then he uh, uh, gave his five-minute press conference. Um, we can do what we can do. And so we, on Monday, uh, we will, I will be talking to the speaker and to the members of the Democratic caucus to, to determine exactly how we want to move forward. But we're not going to let the government shut down, nor are we going to let the American people down from our perspective. Let us hope that we join together. As I mentioned, so many of these bills were overwhelmingly bipartisan. Just days ago, just days ago, both the House and the Senate overwhelmingly passed a bill that we sent to the President of the United States, uh, who has demurred so far. He has not said he's going to veto the bill. I hope he doesn't veto the bill. I hope he signs this bill. And then, as President-elect Biden has said, we will have more work to do, which is what uh, all of my colleagues have said. So then, just quick follow. So then the next CR would have to be beyond January 20th. Is that what you're saying? You have no faith in No, I, I didn't say that. I said we're, we are considering our options and what steps we will take. And I will tell you that there are continuing discussions going on between uh, the Speaker uh, and uh, the Secretary of Treasury and the administration. Well, you basically got that one, so. Yes. Um, I'm wondering, in hindsight, if it was a mistake to tie the omnibus to the COVID relief. Uh, apparently, President Trump doesn't know, even though his administration requested it, that foreign aid is in the omnibus. <laughs> so, in hindsight, was that a mistake? You know, the COVID relief is so desperately needed for, for American people, why not separate it out? Let me, why not have two separate bills? Let, let me say, perhaps the only mistake was believing the President and Secretary Mnuchin when we were told that the bill we passed would be signed by the President of the United States. We signed it on that premise with that uh, expectation and with that representation. So in that context, no, it was not a mistake. Because we thought, as the previous bills, understand, we've had four bills that passed overwhelmingly. Uh, after negotiations uh, with the participation of Secretary Mnuchin on behalf of the administration, uh, and uh, the president signed those bills. So this is a, an anomaly in this process. You, you said the speaker's talking to Mnuchin, but I mean, do you have any sense that Mnuchin actually has the president's proxy after you've gone through this exercise? Uh, he is the person uh, with whom uh, we, we have to talk. <laughs> so we're talking to him. Uh, we hope that the answer to that question is yes. Uh, it was yes in previous occasions, not just on the COVID legislation, but you'll remember uh, he and uh, uh, Ms. Pelosi reached a budget accommodation two years ago, which set the uh, spending levels for two years, and uh, uh, that was uh, agreed to as well. So uh, we've had an, an experience where the president has, in fact, uh, acted consistently with the representations made by Secretary Mnuchin. So... Uh, we'll see. Again, the president, I want to make it clear, uh, if you listen to the president's five-minute, whatever one wants to, whatever adjective one wants to apply to it, uh, he did not say, I'm going to veto the bill. He said that it was insufficient, wanted more, which is why we responded this morning to try to, uh, con consistent with the president's request, to accommodate uh, his perspective. But doesn't that just put you at an impasse? You tried to do what he wanted. The Republicans don't want it. They asked for something. You don't get it. It's like, I mean, honestly, like you follow Mike, like, where do you go from here that doesn't shut down the government? I know you say you well, don't understand. want to shut it down, but like. <laughs> understand. Today is what we call a pro forma session. At a pro forma session, nothing can be done of legislative substance unless it is by unanimous consent. So the only thing we could do today was ask for a unanimous consent. That will not apply this coming Monday. Thank you all very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a, uh